In this video, we've got a problem with this Vauxhall Corsa C1200. Problem is, is that the ABS light has come on and also the speedo has started to fluctuate. So if you've had these problems or got these problems, check out this video. There is a way of actually checking what your fault codes are by looking at the dashboard and doing certain things in a certain combination. Let me show you how to do that. Right, first of all, you've got to put your foot on your accelerator pedal and hold it down. You've got to put your foot on your brake and hold it down. You then put your key in the ignition and what you do then is we're going to be looking at the light on the dashboard that comes up when we turn the ignition on and that light will flash a certain amount of times in a certain order and what you really want is a piece of pen and paper to write the flashes down and that will be your fault code. Now what I mean by that is if it flashes once that means you write the number one down. If it flashes twice you write the number two down. If it flashes ten times that is zero. So your first time it flashes it will probably flash ten times because I think most of the folk fault codes start with a zero. So you're looking for 10 flashes and then it will give a pause so that'll be zero and then it will flash how many times let's say five times and then it will pause and then you'll write five down and then it will flash three times for example and you write the number three down and then another pause so you're looking to count the flashes and we'll we'll make a note of it on this one or, and we'll tell you what the number is and jimmy's going to turn the he's got his foot on the brake and he's got his foot on the accelerator pedal hold them down keep them down and you now turn the key on until we get our ignition lights come up and then the light we're looking for is the orange one over here with the spanner in it. Go on now see it there. Right, watch. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pause. So that's zero. One, two, three, four, five. Pause. That's for number five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's another zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pause. And that's it. Then it will go back and repeat it again. As you can see, there's a big pause between it does that. So basically, we've got the number, it flashed 10 times, that's a zero. It flashed five times, that's the number five. And then it flashed 10 times, another zero. And it flashed 10 times again, that's another zero. So the fault code, what this car is showing is 0500. On the two wheel drive like the Corsa, the ABS sensor are on the front two wheels. If it was a four before, for example, where you had four wheel drive, you would have them on the back wheel. So let's go and take a look at the location of the sensors and also something else which it could be. It may not be the sensor, let me show you that. We're looking under the front near side of the wheel on the Vauxhall Corsa here and just located behind the disc, you can probably see there's the actual ABS sensor. Now that could be the problem, that wouldn't necessarily mean to change it. What I would possibly do now before I actually went to the trouble of changing that, underneath there, you'll see like a castellated ring on the drive shaft. Let me try and get underneath and I'll show you it better. Right, I'm laying underneath the uh, Corsa now. And this thing here, as you can see, this is what they call the uh, reluctor ring. Or if you're in a different country, it might be called a toner ring. Now, up here, if I can just show you, this is the ABS sensor there. And this sensor actually reads these little lines as the wheel rotates. Let me show you. As the wheel turns around, it sends a pulse and that's what tells the microprocessor unit that the wheel, how fast the wheel's spinning. The ABS comes on and alters the way, for example, if this wheel was spinning faster than the other wheel, this sensor would re re register that and it would change the braking force to the calipers. So bearing in mind it has to do with speed as well, there's a very good chance that this could be also the problem why the speedo is bouncing up and down. Now the, these rings are a vital part of sending the signal to your car's electronic brain. And it doesn't necessarily mean that the sensor's the problem, it could be this ring. Now, one of the reasons that you can get false readings is that these rings, they rust from underneath and then they crack, and then they just spin. Now, this one feels quite solid on there, so I don't think that's the problem. If that was the problem, that this had cracked, you, you would probably be able to rotate that that ring, but we can't do that in this case, which shows that it's still probably in place. So the other problem can be is that these little channels get clogged up with dirt and road dust and also brake dust or whatever, and it sends a bogus reading to your computer's brain, and hence throw up a light that there is a, an ABS fault. So before you go changing the sensor, 
which is here, you want to check, or you want to clean all these little channels out with a wire brush. So in this instance, that's what we're going to do here now. It doesn't appear to be cracked at all. And as I say, a typical symptom of that, where's that screwdriver? Is that I could stick a screwdriver in there, for example, and, and lever it. You shouldn't be able to move it at all. And that one. I hope that's solid on there, so it's not slipping at all. So we can safely say that that one, that one's okay. Now I will clean this one out as well. But right, so here we go. As you can probably see, the reluctor ring. Now I've cleaned the edges of it as well. They're a lot more shinier. So now how I did that, I just Jimmy rotated the wheel, and I basically just agitate went up and down like that, and that basically put a, a nice shiny edge. On the tips of them for the sensor which is located here to register and just because we've got this far we're going to actually take the sensor out and just to inspect the sensor face as well so you do that with a five mil allen screw and you just literally crack the joint and let's have a look at the sensor underneath here this is the ABS sensor by the way and this is what the reluctor rings or the tone ring depending on where you are in the world this is where it it sends the message to the computer and while we've got this apart we might as well give this a clean up as well so that's the whole purpose of doing this there we go so we just take that off like that and we'll pull it out of its seat and we'll visually inspect now this one we could give it a bit of a wire brush there is a bit of crud on it so I'll just give that a quick wire brush so which I've done now and I'm just going to replace that in there and tighten it back up again. Right, so that's back in place now. We've checked the connections are okay for the ABS, which is up there. And we're going to put the wheel back on. Right, okay, we've still got the ABS light on at the moment. So if this has cured it, it, um, it will go out after we reach 10 miles an hour. But it doesn't look like the speedo is working. No, so we've still got the problem with the speedo and we've still got the light up. Now bearing in mind this could happen to you as well, so um, we've still got a possible problem. Right, so in this instance, the ABS light is still on and we've still got the speedo not working. That might just be a coincidence, we're not too sure. But before you go out spending money on sensors, those are the things that you need to be checking first. We haven't got the sensors at the moment. I'm now satisfied that the reluctor rings or the tone rings, if you want to call them that, are giving off are fixed in the correct location and they'll be sent or giving the ability to send a signal and the only thing that we haven't checked at the moment which we haven't got when we couldn't have checked is the abs sensors so apparently one on this side on the passenger uh, the, the driver's side has been repaired before so we're going to change both of them as a matter of course what we found out is there's things to check before you actually start spending money the first thing to do is to do the brake pedal and the accelerator check, turn the key on and read the fault code on the dashboard. That came up with a, a 0500 code, which we looked online and we found out that that was the speed sensor malfunction. So bearing in mind we got the ABS light on, apparently on these Vauxhall, Vauxhall Corsa C's, the passenger front ABS sensor is also the speed sensor as well. So. That appears to be the case and in which case uh, that could be the problem so what we've done then instead of actually replacing the, the sensor and spending more money we've cleaned the reluctor rings we've done that on both sides and we've also made the edges nice and clean we've also made sure that they're not broken because that can cause them out sensor malfunction as well so that's the first thing to check the next stage to go to is to change the sensors now we're going to do that, we haven't got the sensors on us at the moment, but we can actually do that anyway. And the sensors for the ABS are not resettable. In other words, when the vehicle goes above 10 miles an hour, then apparently the sensors reset themselves. Now if after we've changed the sensors, we still have the problem, uh, and the speedo doesn't work for example, that should cure our sensor problem. But if we've still got the problem with the speedo not working, then there is another problem with the plug that is situated on the back of the actual console which means that we'd have to take out the binnacle and there is a multi-socket on there 
which can also cause the speedo not to work it's a pretty common thing on these Vauxhall courses apparently so as I said that's the order we've got to do things in it's a matter of process of elimination don't just dive in there when your ABS light comes on and thinking you're changing the sensors and you might buy the new sensors put it on there and it's still got the problem you need to check them reluctor rings or tone rings as they're called first make sure they're clean make sure they're not rusted and that you can't leave them off if they have rusted through uh, or they're totally crudded up you've got to clean them off and obviously maybe file the surfaces so we can see clear metal again and then if that doesn't work then try your uh, sensor cables okay well thanks for that that's been of some help to you it's a little bit complicated we'll come back to you when we've actually got the sensor cables and when we put them on bye for now